Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Ja. I'm back on my evil twin right now. We on GTA Online. So I'm in my hangar right now. I want to do a review on the Ryu Jet. I want to let everybody know if it's worth it before they spend $7 million on this vehicle right here. There's some pros and there's some cons. We're going to get into that during the video. If you want my honest opinion on the craziest things you could buy in GTA Online, hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment down below. So I'm not going to hold y'all up. Hit the button. Let's get right into this. All right, so we outside on a Sunday day in Los Santos and I'm about to show you this is one of the craziest machines they ever put in GTA online I do recommend you getting it but only if you have a lot of money if you don't it's definitely not worth it because some of the cons I'm gonna show you in this video show you the uh, veto mode it really is like a helicopter at first you could do it you could just move it around real easy it got machine guns obviously homing missiles so and these is accurate so because uh the mark II oppressor i can't use that shit no more i'm depressed so i need something else seven million is crazy to me now something is really wrong with me for paying seven million for this bro um i need to be checked out but this is the helicopter mode right here you can move all around you can go up down left right not too crazy the next feature is you gotta hold the left thumbstick in and then it'll go into you know jet mode this is honestly the fastest vehicle in the game. You could literally get across the map in probably like four minutes. So, if you wanna uh, grind, this is definitely a vehicle you want. Cause you could just fly around the map so fast. It's, it's, it's very convenient. This is a convenient $7 million vehicle. So if you like convenience, I definitely would tell you get it. I do love flying this. And it's super fun to fly. This is a fun vehicle. If you, and if you're looking for a fun vehicle as well, you should probably cop this. It definitely is fun spinning around, flipping and shit. Until you blow up. Then you got to go get a new one. Okay, so the next thing that is a super pro on this, besides the speed, because the speed is a pro. Uh, the next pro on this is you can go off the radar in a public lobby by hitting your left d-pad that is very convenient if you're trying to grind in a public lobby so just remember that seven million you going off the radar in a jet with mad missiles so i mean you're basically unstoppable at that point so i definitely would check this out if you if you like that option but, all right let's get in a uh, you know we're moving around so i'm getting dizzy overall this is pretty much the best vehicle in gta besides the mark ii because the mark ii is a lot more flexible but this would definitely be the best vehicle in gta now we got to get into the cons if we got into the pros of this vehicle right here uh it's too big to be landing every goddamn where i'm gonna be honest but but the tires on it they come down like they're big enough where it, it's cool where you're not smashing and breaking your shit but it's just too big to be landing all the time. The fact that you can't spawn it right next to you makes it very, very... It makes it an L to me. Just like a, a big L for not being able to spawn it right next to you. Because if you can't spawn this vehicle right next to you, then you have to go in empty places and drive to extra royal stupid ass areas to go get your jet that you pay $7 million for. Let me say that shit again. Don't look at my face. Seven million dollars. So that makes absolutely no sense. That is probably the worst thing of this right here. I bought this like a week and a half ago, and I barely you. I realized how much I'm not gonna be using this because I'm not gonna be driving out my way to go get it. But when I use it, it's fun. It's a dilemma here. I, I'm in a catch twenty two. It's weird that you can't spawn the best vehicle right next to you. Uh very inconvenient on on that behalf yo i would say if you out here grinding then you want this vehicle it just flies across them this shit is literally four minutes across a whole map is there any other vehicle like that no so if you're grinding out there you definitely want this vehicle and if you got a lot of money but if you broke as hell this is not the vehicle for you you do not want to look at this vehicle if you barely struggling if you got seven million in your account do not spend seven million on this vehicle i'm gonna say like 50 million or, or going towards it to me to buy this dumbass vehicle because you're not gonna be able to spawn the next to you so you're gonna have to go into river banks uh mountain tops rooftops airports backyards it's just the shit spawn everywhere and anywhere but where you needed to spawn so with that being said yo i think this vehicle is amazing you definitely need it if you have a lot of money in gta online but for the broke boys 
this ain't this ain't it for you. You might as well just save another million and get the Mark II, and you could just be flexible. You could just be moving under bridges and shit. At some point, you're gonna blow up in this jet. Your shit is too fast. You're moving too. It's just going too crazy. You're gonna be blowing this shit up. Imagine you grind it with the jet, then it blows up, and you gotta wait five minutes. You see what I'm saying too? So you might as well get the Mark II oppressor. I'm here to give real opinions on GTA Online. This is a great vehicle for rich people. For broke boys? Hell no. Who the hell wants to go to Cayo Perico to get their goddamn jet? If you do, that's on you. For me, I won't be doing that. This is my review of the Ryu jet. Uh, Seven million dollars. I'ma say damn near wasted because I'm not driving to the Vinewood sign to get my goddamn jet. Uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe if you want more reviews of me just going crazy, giving honest truths about the most expensive shit in GTA, because that's the series I'm bringing to y'all. Yo, hit the like, hit the subscribe, man. Show your boy some love down in the comments. I'm be dropping a lot more videos 2024. GTA 6 coming, people, so all this shit not even gonna matter. But it does still matter, so uh, hit the button.